This is the 2018 Washington, D.C. Auto Show crammed into eight and a half minutes. Let's go check it out. Brand new RDX 2019 from Acura. Take a look. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of this front. It looks kind of... Oh, don't go so hard on those Acuras. Oh, well, I'm just saying, the front's kind of like a buck tooth or something. I don't know what it looks like. But... <laughs> not that bad. Yes, way better than the Lexus, that's for sure. Because I hear it's all new redesigned. No, this isn't it, man. This is not the new one. This is not the new one. Nope, this is the 2018. You can tell by the console. So this is the old one. This is the 2018. It's got the old school console. Yeah, this is the old school 2018 at the car show. Very odd. I'm hoping we get to actually see the 2019. All right, well, we're very, we're beyond disappointed that the only RDXs are out here are the 2018s, and we've actually talked to the folks at the booth, yeah, still and there's no 2019 RDXs here at the car show, and they won't be available, people can't see them until spring, so I'm going to say that's a big fail. You can't redesign the RDX, which is one of your best-selling vehicles, and then not bring it to the auto show. Fail on you, Acura. This is the Q5. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this guy's coming in hot. He's coming in hot. All right, let's see. Yeah. This is the first one I did. What is this, a big touch pad there, huh? It's about plus, 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 you, plus you got the, uh, the joystick. Oh, that's what you're doing to the knob. That's interesting. A lot of headroom. How tall are you? 5'10". Yeah, these are fun. I'm six feet. Yeah, I'm six foot. A lot of room in there. Wow. Beautiful panoramic sunroof in this one. Seems like a lot of leg room. They did the legs right, because you know you want to be able to put your knee above the, the console. The Audi Q3, and I think this is going to be the competitor to the XC40 from Volvo. But boy, is this a nice car. Nice headroom, nice features, nice touches. It's a 32.9. Wow, that's not bad for an Audi, 32.9. Big. Sunroof, moonroof, a lot of room, a lot of headroom. And then the coolest thing is the doors. I mean, look at that. I knew you'd like that. <laughs> How cool is that? It's right up your alley. Well, yeah. That's pretty slick. That's pretty cool. Does yours do it too? Oh, yeah. And the Bose speakers got the highlight around them too, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's the Countryman plug-in right here. Yeah, so you can plug in. And then, you know, you get a certain portion just on battery. Yeah, these things are sharp looking. Look at these LED lights in the... Uh, that's really nice. And the door handles and in the compartments down there. Put that in the ratings. Yeah, it's very nice. I like these toggle switches a lot, too. It's like a really... Like an airplane feel or something, almost. It's very cool. Big display. More toggle switches here. Very cool. 2019 Countryman. Oh, here we go. Yeah, where you like your hamster? Get in there, come on. Let's see how much headroom you got. Oh my god, you got a ton. How tall are you? 5'11. He fits, look at that. Pretty impressive, the countryman. What do you think? Would you see yourself in one of those? Um, yes. Yeah? I like it. Yeah, it's sharp. It's a pretty car. Let's get in there. I gotta see it. <laughs> Come on.
Come on. Oh, that's ridiculous. You had headroom, but you couldn't even have a leg room. All right, let's stop and check out the Volkswagen uh, i3, the electric Volkswagen with the suicide doors. It's so cool looking. That's pretty neat. Beautiful interior here. Look at that wood. Two screens. Let's see how it fits. You got two little sunroofs. Cute. Well, that is interesting. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Look at those two little sunroofs in there. One there and then one there. I think they stay in. I don't think you can pop them out. Not bad. The problem when I'm sitting here in, in the driver's seat earlier, like my view is basically this this headrest, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm six foot, so when I'm looking, basically all I'm seeing is this, this headrest. Right. You know what I mean? It's not ideal, and I, yeah, yeah. I could figure out how to lower the seat. But, no handle on the side. yeah, I don't, you can lay down, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, cool design, I love this. This yeah, looks this beautiful. Looks nice. But, uh, I don't know. If I was a shorter man, maybe. Yeah, it works perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. The 2017 Chevy Bolt. I don't know why these 17 models are at the 2018 Auto Show. But here's the Bolt. So this is a little bit bigger than the Volt. Starting at 37,495. Same as the, the Volt. It's got the hatchback. Big touchscreen. Look at the size of that touchscreen. Holy moly. Not bad. Similar to the Volt, but a little bit more headroom. Honestly, this was the car I was most excited to see, the brand new Volvo XC40, which is the, their smaller city size version of their very popular XC line. Maybe it's just me, and maybe it's because this car is painted like a Chicago fire truck. But boy, this is a cool looking car, and I can't wait to test drive it this spring. It'll be available for $600 a month as a subscription, which includes your car payment and your insurance payment. And that's it, folks. Thanks for coming along with us as we checked out the 2018 Washington, D.C. Auto Show.